Hello folks, I'm one of those late comers to Twilight, probably because I'm not an adolescent female. I'm an older man whose adolescent daughter took the book and handed it to me and said, Dad, you're not going to see the movie until you've read this book, which is the case. I just had a few things to say, and this is in response to a blog that my daughter turned me on to by the name of Sister Salad. Hello, Sister Salad. This book, Twilight, what I see in it is the quintessential adolescent female fantasy that dives deep into the female psyche, much like Fan of the Opera, where you have a battle in the young girl's subconscious where she comes to terms with her maturing sexuality. Twilight by Stephanie Meyer is Phantom Light. It is the adolescent bad boy fantasy. And all you fellows out there, how many of you guys in high school saw the cute girl going out with that guy and you had to ask the question, what does she see in him? Because he was an idiot. He was the bad guy. He was bad. In this case, you have a young girl who meets the bad boy who is a good boy. But he's, he's a good boy that's not just any old bad boy. He is mortally bad for her. So there's that little sense of danger in there. But it's okay because... He will protect her from his badness. And I do have to say as a message to my daughters and for many of you young ladies out there who are dealing with this bad boy fantasy, the bad boy is always bad. I do have to say some good things about the book. It is well written. It kept me engaged and I do plan on reading the second one and the third one and the fourth one and I hear there's a fifth one out there somewhere. As a writer myself, I'm very jealous of Stephanie Meyer. She wrote the type of story that I very much want to write, one that captures the imagination of so many people, that touches such fundamental emotional and psychological num-nums. As much like Harry Potter relates to the emotional alienation we all feel and, and the need for some kind of power over the darkness in our lives, a redemption, you might say. And I do have to say that I am one of those weird old balding men who have joined the ranks of the Twilighters.